Social media, one of the most successful creations of the 21st century. Many people use it as a way to share and consume content with their friends and family. It has also ushered in a new style of engagement democracy. Politicians, political parties and councillors all use social media to engage with their voters. For most politicians, it is a dream come true to be able to post a video online and reach hundreds of thousands of people in seconds. Politics and social media platforms both have one thing in common for politicians. Popularity. If your approval rating is high, then social media can help you grow. If your approval rating is low, then people can use this as a vehicle to voice their unhappy thoughts and opinions. Newport City Council leader Debbie Wilcox has been talking a lot about social media recently, describing it as anti-social media. She's also published guidelines via the LGA to tackle online intimidation. Whilst no political member should suffer from online abuse, you would think that being open to debate in a polite manner and being held to account comes with the job as an elected representative. And this is where many people are voicing their concerns over the leader and her use of what she calls anti-social media. In this interview, the council leader discusses social media. Discussion about social media, but in the old days, people would talk about you in bar rooms and you weren't standing outside the door listening to the horrible things they were saying about you. These days, the, the, you know, I call it anti-social media mm. actually. Um, and to expose your family and your friends to that if you get uh, into public life, it, that's probably as challenging as anything else because the climate has changed immensely. I've been a councillor for 14 years. I've won four elections and I've never had so much hassle or dissent. We asked another political representative of Newport, what is their thought on social media? Matthew, what do you think is expected from a leader in social media standards? Well, social media, I mean, it's been around for several years now. I think it's very important that people use it. It's a necessary evil. Sometimes it can be difficult, but actually it's a very important tool to engage with your residents. Uh, for instance, we have an Alterine Matters Facebook page, which has over 2,500 people. We keep that non-political, um, and it's an important way of engaging. When we started researching this article, our director tried to reach out to the Newport leader to ask if she would like to take part. We were alarmed to her reaction of blocking the show's director without responding. How do you think Debbie Wilcox is using social media? Um, well, well, when I read it yesterday, I just... I just thought her 18 minute speech just focused on how she believes anti-social uh, media was affecting her more than what me, how it was maybe affecting us. But, but to be truthful, I have to say that if she's responsible for this lawless, intimidating, filthy, disgraceful, uh, de 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 desolate, dire, dismal, bleak, uh, place because I don't know what to call it really is it a town is it a city is it indeed you know other things that people call it um, all I know is is that she seems to think that um, it the anti-social thing is just about her it's about the whole town and I honestly truthfully believe that I haven't actually experienced anti-social other than uh, from the council that is supposed to, she's supposed to be manning or in charge of or whatever. Do you agree with Debbie Wilcox when she calls social media users anti-social? No I don't agree with that I think she should be talking to the people of Newport and social media like I said is a fantastic way to talk to people and it's the 21st century we're not stuck in the 70s anymore this is 2019 and everyone uses it politicians whatever they come Labour Conservative it doesn't matter would they all use it annoying for me because she just seems to like I said I posted something the other week where you know there's something positive going on in the city, they're all there, like the, the marathon or the uh, Newport County's massive success within the city, they're all there, but there's so much wrong with this city at the moment and it just seems to me that they just bury their head in the sand and, and, and just this week was one thing that really, really infuriated me was the fact that Debbie said something, and like I say, I've got nothing personal against Debbie, I've never met her, she's probably a lovely lady, blah, 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 but she comes on then and says about this big thing about Newport Transport and about 50%, uh, there's no women involved with Newport Transport, but 50% of women use the transport. Well, hang on, there's 50% of women are in this city and there's bigger problems at the moment in our city than Newport Transport. Saying it was called anti-social media, now, if she used it properly and she engaged with the people of Newport, I think she'd be able to find out what the people's 
real concerns are and worries are in Newport and then she'd be more informed to do something about it. We've all uh, attempted in one way or another to uh, get our point across to, to Debbie but um, unfortunately it seems to have fallen on deaf ears so all I ask of Debbie is to please listen to the people in Newport and, and listen to their concerns. Um, social media if I get queries as leader of the opposition on the council and I ask them to send me an email and we'll communicate. I very rarely block people. I'll only block people if it's offensive material or language and no conversation because ultimately they're the people who elect you and you've got to be in the public face. If you take a job as a public role, then you have to expect some criticism, take the criticism on the head and, and reply. Debbie really needs to grasp the real issues of what's going on in our city, not just coming on and, and you know, with the laddie darkness of some of the stuff that she's doing. And, and like I said, nothing personal, but, you know, when we're hearing about the, the other things, she's down in Bournemouth for a conference and she's on about bullying or um, abuse to council people and stuff like that. Well, I'm sorry, you know, that's part and parcel of the job.